Hi, and welcome my fellow YouTubers, subscribers, followers, friends, and other tower readers from the V4VN family channel to a November reading for Scorpio. It's your month. So the spread is super simple. Situation challenge, outcome, and advice. And these are my optical illusions. Wait a minute, class. So I'm going to use those cards, I'm going to use those positions for Radiant White, with Radiant White Spirit Tarot. And the challenge might be a little too hard, so I'll use Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Life to help you solve it. Alright, let's do this. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Did you know your tarot card is death, which is a card of transformation, a card of change? Because even a scorpion molts when it's young, to show that even things need to change when it's young, so that it's set on the right path. Say a turtle who's moving away from sea, a turtle with, with the flippers, you have to direct it in the right direction. Seagulls are made for that, to direct turtles in the right direction. And the ones who don't listen get eaten by the dark path they make, take. They get devoured by the dark path. Oh, that's deep. All right, let's do this. Situation, challenge, outcome, and advice. So let's do this. Your situation is Four of Cups, which is a card of ignoring something. Because Four of Cups shows there's a big opportunity right in front of you, but you're not even seeing it. Maybe because you're wallowing in your own defeat. But if you stopped wallowing, you could succeed. Think about it. Think about it really deep. But your challenge is you're trying to walk away from these opportunities. And this cup could be the missing cup to make this a nine of cups, which is a card that fulfills wishes. But since you're walking away from it, you'll never know. Because it feels like you're just so disappointed with everything that's happened. Like, like <laughs> I don't want to do tarot reads anymore. Blah, blah, blah. But you understand, right? We've all had situations like that, but we've come back. We've come back from tough times, all right? So, situate. So, you're ignoring this situ. You're ignoring the cup because you want to walk away from this, and you just don't want to think about it ever again. <laughs> End of story. Or at least that is for you. But if I was in your situation, I would just take the cup, put it, drink, bang, nine of cups, make my wish come true. So that's my advice to you as well. And now your your outcome is, it will take a lot of effort to finally realize there's an opportunity right in front of you. Because strength is the card of Leo and also a card of effort. And you notice there's an infinity sign upon this like the magician card? Because it means eternally trying. Because, it's, because you'll try forever and ever and ever and ever to get it right. All right, are you with me, guys? Good. Wow. I am so glad that you're here. And it looks like she's covered with roses, which is the card, of, which is like a success. Absolutely success. So this is really good. And this is eight. This is eight. And strength is number eight in the major arcanas. So now let's see your advice. Star. It is a card of healing and a card of Aquarius. <gasps> oh, this is constant rivalry. Have you seen these two signs fight? They're like, biff, bap, biff, bap. I'm not even making this up. Leos and Aquariuses never get along. It's a fact I've learned in life. You don't want to know how. <laughs> and I'm a Libra. Anyway, the star is a card of hope, healing. You've got to heal yourself. You've got to make amends with yourself. So that you can finally see what's been offered to you. So uh, instead, look at these card positions. The Leo and the Star. The two not compatible at all. It's like match, check. <coughs> no offense at all. But seriously, when will a Leo ever get in touch with a Star? <laughs> it laughs. It makes me chuckle just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So
So now, let's see why are you walking away from it? Why are you walking away from this? 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 No. No. It does not want us to know because it just said, No, I won't tell you. Cards are so bossy nowadays. Even they have minds. Because it says, Wait, postpone, say no. Because it's still yet to happen, so don't leave. You can change your course. And when you do, it'll be an entirely new outcome, which will happen for the better. And maybe it's not the worst combo ever will come. I'm serious, dude. There's water over here. There is fire. There's fire over here and water over here. And trust me, as a tarot reader, I know Leo's and Aquarius don't get along. So, that's all for your reading. If you did not understand anything, you can replay the video. And please like and subscribe. V for VIL. Peace. Have a great November.